Um, Kieran, uh, thanks for your time. Appreciate that. Uh, talk, talk, talk to me about from the off how you're looking forward to the anniversary games and where that kind of uh, that Diamond League features in terms of importance in your season. Um, for me, it's very important, you know, um, to come out here, give a good race, um, give a good execution of my race plan, and to get the win for uh, for tomorrow, and have the confidence going into World Championships. Um, that's what it's all about. Um, because I always give a good performance, you know, later in my season. And um, I'm just really excited um, to come out here tomorrow and to give the crowd a, a very good performance. You look like you're in a good place. How's your season gone? Talk to me a little bit about your preparation so far. Um, um, preparation has, has been really good. You know, um, I know that, well, for the US trials, I didn't have to really run the finals or, or to give my all in the finals because I knew I was on the team. But um, I think right now, I'm in a good position because I, I, I dipped into the 48 seconds um, in trials. I ran 48.6 in the, in the semis and then 48.9 in the finals. So I know um, I can get faster from here and out. What's, what's prepared you? Um, how was your winter? How was your indoor season if you had one? Or the early part of your uh, 2017? How have you managed to get in this type of shape? Well, I don't really do indoors. Um, I mostly run indoors. I mean, outdoors, sorry. And... Um, you know, I ran, I was in Melbourne for the Nitro Series. That looked then, exciting. That was very exciting, you know, um, to run with boys and girls, you know, on the same team. But um, to just have a good race strategy, uh, training strategy, and to just execute um, throughout the season, um, that's was what it's all about for me. Talk to me about some of your nearest competitors. Have you made any assessments on who's likely to be your rivals going into the World Championships? You know, as I always say, you know, I got to focus on myself. Once I focus on myself and the 10 hurdles in my lane, um, I'm the one to beat. You know, I can't worry about who's in the lane next to me. The 10 hurdles in my lane, focus on myself, be tunnel vision, and you just execute a good race plan and I'll be fine, just like what I did in Rio. Have you, uh, have you competed at the stadium before? Yes, I have. Um, I was actually, I made the Olympic final in 2012. I didn't medal. But um, I won the Diamond League um, last year here, so I'm really excited to run again in the stadium. Okay, so this, this gold medal means a lot, right? Especially at this stage of your career, this World Championships. I mean, this is the one that kind of confirms what you did last year, right? Of course, you know, of course, I've been chasing the gold medal in the Olympics um, for a very long time, and I finally got it at age 31. You know, it's a tremendous feeling. And um, of course, you know, going to the World Championships, I want to get the third gold medal. I think I will separate myself from the other hurdlers um, in history. I'll be the only one to have three gold medals. So um, that's what I'm going for. And um, my motto for the entire season was um, nobody's going to step in my way or no one, you know, is going to, you know, no one is going to. No one's going to stop you, basically. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> in a nutshell. Well, listen, if that was your motto, good luck with that. Um, thanks for your time. I know that we'll be speaking to you when, when, when you achieve that, hopefully. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much.